How to remove people from photos in Photoshop 2024. Hey friends, welcome to Design Dynamo. I'm Asma and in this lesson, you are going to learn how to use generative fill to flawlessly remove people or other distractions from photo. And that is super easy to do using generative fill. So let's get started. Before starting to watch this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe my channel Design Dynamo. Hit that bell icon and select all options so you will be notified whenever I release a new video content. So let's get started. To begin, we need to select Object Selection Tool. To access Object Selection Tool, we need to press W on our keyboard or you can find it up here in the toolbar. There is Object Selection Tool. And uh, in Photoshop, you'll see Object Selection Tool uses artificial intelligence to detect and select different types of regions in images. So when the Object Finder option here, you will see in the Option bar, make sure it is enabled. So Photoshop displays by default magenta display, but uh, I change the settings. So I change the color overlay like indigo color so by default this is the magenta overlay so here you'll see it is uh, detect and select several objects and you can change the outline from here object selection tool so to select an object simply click within the overlay so here i'm going to select this subject and if i want to select this one so press shift key on a keyboard and here it is, two people are selected and I need to remove uh, these two people. So simply press shift key and hold it to add more selections. And now to remove our subject using generative fill. So we can just go to contextual taskbar here downside. You will see the contextual taskbar and uh, just click generative fill. And uh, we will leave the prompt option empty and then we will click on generate now guys you'll see photoshop will now look the surroundings as inspiration to fill content of selections with and remove our subject so it will also create a brand new generative fill layer here you will see in the layer panel and uh, in the properties panel you will see uh, there is uh, different variations so we can choose from like uh, here you can see that and you can regenerate it uh, by pressing uh, the generate button here so here you will see you can easily remove the people or subject from photos so let's take uh, another example and in this picture same we are going to select this girl and press shift key and this girl i need to remove it from our background so go to contextual taskbar select generate fill and uh, leave the prompt empty and hit generate and now guys look at this photoshop will now look the surroundings and uh, fill the content and here you will see the three variations this is perfect and it is up to you uh, which variation you like and you can follow about it let's check another example in this picture same uh, using object selection tool and i'm going to select this subject and press shift key and uh, let's do a good practice generative fill hit generate and uh, removing people from image uh, by using generative fill is so much easy and look at this guys and let's check the variations and it will give you the best result and you can uh, use this option the new option in photoshop which is uh, the detail option so you can enhance the detail by selecting the option you like so it will enhance more so it is super easy to select your subject and uh, delete or remove it by using generative fill 
this example, I'm going to use different method to select the subject. This subject, I need to select it and remove all these. So I'm going to select uh, select subject option here at the contextual taskbar. And here, just inverse the selection. Click this, this option. And if you want to change the background, so simply hit generate a fill so it will create a new background so let's check it out hit generate and leave the prompt empty and it will create a new background and here it is check in the properties panel it will give you three options it's nice uh, it will generate a new background by using generate a fill let's undo this and uh, deselect the selections the uh, short keys command d on a map and uh, and i am go i don't want to change the environment so what i will do i just uh, make a selection by using lasso tool go to tool panel and here i'm going to select lasso tool the short key is l just make a rough selection around the people you want to remove from this picture Here it is and uh, press generate, leave the prompt empty and hit generate. And now guys, look at this, Photoshop will now uh, look the surroundings as inspiration to fill the content. And uh, here you will see with the help of generative efforts, easily remove the subject or object. And here you, you'll see it generate uh, different options according to the environment. So you can select it, whatever you want. In this example, I'm going to remove uh, these guys, which is backside. And uh, as you can see, when we uh, select these by using object selection tool, so it uh, will not make a selection properly. So undo this and I need to select it, these subject or these people with the help of lasso tool. So going to select lasso tool from the tool panel. And here I am going to make a selection. Here I just going to show you how to select it. Now guys, Make a rough selection and go to generate fill and hit generate. And now guys, you'll see with the help of generate fill, it is a very good result. You can remove subject with the help of generate fill and make a good selection. And Photoshop will look the surroundings as inspiration and fill content of selections and remove our subject. Uh, which you want to remove from image so and here you will see it will give you a good result and it's a, absolutely amazing with the help of generate fill so you can regenerate more by pressing generate again here so this technique is one of the most efficient ways to remove subject distractions from image by using generate fill now guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial Make sure you subscribe my channel Design Dynamo and if you learned something today hit that like button below. Thanks for watching Design Dynamo.